<clears throat> actually, this is not a Thomas Merton poem. It's the, uh, the winner of the poetry of the sacred, the, the poetry of the s spiritual, uh, by <clears throat> which has been something that was organized um, by the, uh, or the uh, organization of, of the, uh, what's the name of this place? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, faith, but, but the, the sub the subunit, which is the uh, Center for the Interfaith Relationships. Yes, and uh, the Center for Spiritual Practice. That's okay, I'm getting it now. Uh, this uh, is part of a series of, of competitions that have been going on for about three years, I believe. The uh, winners are published in Parabola. Uh, the winner for the current year is... Sharon Singleton. I don't know where she's from. The uh, judge, for, there's a committee that judges these, po these poems, and then the uh, nominees were sent to Phil Hall in Ontario. He is uh, a very well respected and uh, poet who won the Governor General's Award in Canada, that's sort of like their Pulitzer Prize, and has been nominated for the uh, Griffin Award a couple times. So <clears throat> this is the one, this is the winner he picked for this year, by Sharon Singleton. I praise unsalted butter, it is cheap for the price, and pearl buttons which keep all the secrets. Translucent parings from baby's fingernails. And the danger of color. Dare to enter Delphinum's cobalt. I will wait at the gate and hope you'd return. And this is just here and now. What about the Assyrians? Their white colts and amber bracelets the frogs that rained down on Leicester, Massachusetts in 1953. What about nipples and contrails, gold lame, branching dendrites you will never see? What about the bright planet that does a little jig when you look at it? Yes, I know there's more. There will always be the thin Vietnamese girls, arms flung out, running naked down the end of the world. I am not strong enough for that, so I must praise spores and otter dung, kaleidoscopes and saliva, Fritz Nielsen, a bearded man who spreads, spends his time in tops of trees in the Amazonian rainforest. They all want in freckles, the Sangre Cristo mountains, burnt sugar, the tall Maasai woman who yelled at me, the pale honey-colored toes of mice. I could spend my life praising I could choose to die with rhubarb on my lips. It closes with a piercing, but opens with a spirit's breath. <clears throat>